How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So on this video we have a 08 Accord uh, with the K24 a 2.4 liter with oil filter housing uh, leak. This also applies to some CRVs and TSXs, etc. Um, but uh, the way you identify this, if you uh, take out your oil filter or when you do your oil change, you see oil behind the filter here or some sweating, that's how you know that those uh, O-rings are dry rotted and leaking. Uh, very simple to do. You're gonna use a quarter inch swivel extension and ratchet. Very simple. I'm gonna use the aid of a uh, power tool just to make it a little bit quicker. I did break these loose uh, off camera. Uh, they are fairly tight, so I didn't want the camera to be shaking around and stuff. So like I said, they are loose, so now I'm just gonna remove them with my power tool. Uh, you could take them out by hand. You don't need a power tool at all. That's two. And uh, I'm doing an oil change on this car anyway, so I'll definitely uh, recommend if you're not doing an oil change, if you're gonna be doing some cleaning, uh, you don't want brake fluid inside the oil filter or anything to at least replace the filter and top off the oil. If you're doing an oil change, then you should be changing the oil filter anyway. So this top right bolt over there, it is tight um, and you actually have to take it out with the housing. If not, it's going to hit the intermediate shaft. Uh, so that's the only difference on that bolt versus the other bolts. And I believe we have it out over here. You can see where the two O-rings go and clearly there's some sweating going on. And these are your two O-rings here. They are fairly flat. So I'm just gonna be cleaning this up, installing the O-rings and putting it back together. All right, so here we have the housing. Let's take a pick, remove the O-rings. Once those are out, clean some of this excess off. You don't wanna clean this and blow it. All right, now that your housing is uh, clean, we're gonna install the two rings. This is uh, one of them. This is the part number for the second one. And you're going to apply just a little bit of Honda Bond or something so we can hold that O-ring in place. You don't want it to fall out as you're installing it. Like so. Now it's in place. And that one is in place as well. So now that we've uh, cleaned this, I've already cleaned the block off camera. You use some uh, sort of solvent or some brake clean as well. And um, once that is all good, we're gonna put this back together. All right, once again, now that you've cleaned everything as good as possible, you don't have to really go crazy, but you can definitely tell where oil leaks usually were. The aluminum in this case uh, is a lot cleaner versus having some corrosion on it like over here. Uh, so. That was uh, definitely an active leak. Uh, you're gonna start by um, installing 
your top right screw with the, the unit. You're gonna make sure your uh, O-rings are in place. Once again, if you don't install that, you will have trouble with the intermediate shaft. And you don't have to start that bolt uh, first per se, you just have to install with that bolt there. And that bolt is usually one of the tougher ones to get to. So I like to start with this bolt right here, which is a lot easier to get to. Start everything by hand as always. And then I like to install the bottom right bolt. Just take some time. Don't cross thread anything. That wouldn't be good for any anyone. And that one started. And now you're gonna take your two fingers, one on top, one on the bottom, and start that top right one. Once they're all started, you can use some sort of impact driver or something just to drive them in until they're flush. That's it. This one. Like I said, it's the tightest one. Some patience. And that's it. Now you're just gonna take your quarter inch ratchet and uh, make sure everything is nice and tight. At this point, you're gonna install a brand new filter. A Honda would be my choice personally. Don't go crazy tighten this. Most people over tighten these filters. Uh, obviously, at this point, you would uh, you would um, top off the oil or finish uh, adding oil. Um, if you did a full oil change and start the car and uh, check for a leak. So once again, guys, this is a very common issue on these Accords and some CRVs and TSXs, any K24 really uh, with the oil filter housing in this location. Uh, if you have found any uh, value in this video, please uh, like, comment, and uh, subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you on a future video.